Uh, and of course, despite much criticism, the 45,000 uh, seater stadium is ready to go for this evening. Uh, I'm sure it must be quite a feat. And uh, as I said, despite all the criticism that it is now uh, done and dusted and ready to go, it must have been quite an interesting project for Gabon. Uh, thank you for inviting me. Yes, it is and a very exciting project and it is an exciting event tonight to allow us to see that everything are working and to have the Brazilian uh, and the Japanese uh, team players playing together this evening. Mm. Uh, it, is an, it is an exciting project in many aspects, no doubt about it. Absolutely. As I mentioned, Mr. Hayon, a 45,000-seater, and of course, we, uh, do, we've read quite a few reports, and uh, literally some of the rhetoric that uh, has come from the reports that it's a gift from China. Uh, give us monetary values with regards to the cost of the stadium and also the multiplier effect in terms of skills uh, benefits and beneficiation in the surrounding area. Sure. In terms of the cost of the project, it's a little challenging to answer to that, but let me answer you in two parts. The first part, as you may appreciate, this stadium was a present from the government of China to the government of Gabon. That's why we call it uh, the Spada Miche, Sino Gabonese. That's one aspect. So consequently, the initial value is not known to us as l'Agence Nationale des Grands Travaux. However, as the entity representing the government, we did have a number of investments to increase uh, the, the, this uh, stadium to make it to where we want it to be and be ready for the CAN 2012, mm. such as increasing the VIP area, the, the, the parking areas, the, the grass, uh, the pitch, and other elements. So we did invest in the neighborhood of approximately 30 to 35 million dollars will be the additional cost to the government of Gabon to bring it to where mm. we want it to be. Um, and with regards to maintenance and something that we've actually experienced here in South Africa, that it's not only about the actual cost of the initial outlay when it comes to building the stadiums, but it's also about maintenance down the line, and that's quite a big price tag. How is that then being managed? Well, you, you hit it on. Uh, your question is very pertinent. Uh, the cost of the maintenance is quite very essential. That's the reason why we, have, we are bringing very highly experienced people we are using the South Africa experience which you have on your main stadium. We are using it as lessons learned to help us to, uh, to be in the right direction in many aspects. Mm. For, uh, for example, uh, we are intending to maximize the use of the stadium for the next 12 months around the clock, uh, if possible, in terms of, of receptions, in terms of uh, meet, uh, um, uh, meetings, in terms of uh, demonstrations, in terms of sport, etc. That will give us what we can call mitigating costs. So by having an international company helping us, uh, such as companies who manage the Stade de France or, your, or the, st the stadiums in South Africa or other major comp uh, other stadiums around the world, will help us to, max uh, to focus on the right directions. Mm -hmm. and uh, in increase revenues and decrease the cost yeah. in many aspects. Uh, also quite fascinating, I, I know that you've teamed up with System Solutions uh, and of course a South African company uh, and it's quite interesting to see how the way that you've actually embarked on uh, rolling out the IT systems uh, within the uh, stadium. Uh, give us an indication of some of the challenges and the headway that you've made over the past period. And I know that you've uh, ensured that you've embarked on, on very different strategies given the fact that you really are trying to avoid any error this evening. Well, you know, uh, errors, they will be always. Uh, it is difficult to say that we are going to mitigate all the errors. Our, it's our objective, our main goals. That's the reason why in the, since the last uh, four weeks, almost non-stop around the clock, our teams and our experts are working all together trying to make sure laying over a very, very, very complex and detailed template uh, on the minutes of the actions using what should be done, what we should not do, and making sure that everything is being run uh, precisely. Well, they will be always unforeseen, and that's the reason why we have uh, different teams in different areas going from mechanical, electrical, support, uh, uh, cleaning, uh, emergency security, who are going to be ready uh, uh, in the clock to uh, react on any kind of issue that can, uh, that can mm. uh, 
arrive, and hopefully that will not be the case. Uh, I know that you've also teamed up with a lot of local manufacturers when it comes to the rolling out of uh, IT. Uh, and again, I allude to the fact that it is a gift from the Chinese government. Uh, give us an indication of what we've actually seen on the ground with regards to skills uh, transfer. Uh, in Gabon and also given the fact that we've also uh, experienced um, you know, the architecture, the construction of the stadium. Uh, give us a little bit more detail with regards to how that was uh, taken on. Are you referring to the construction of the stadium Correct. by the Chinese? Absolutely yes. and also the, well, uh, the, architecture, the architectural design, did, did Gabon have a say? Well, the archi uh, architecture of the design has been approved by the government of Gabon, no doubt about it. Uh, this is the second the second stadium that is built like this, and uh, well, similar to this one, but this one is much bigger and has an, a connotation that is more focused on Gabon in, in some aspect. Uh, the go Gabonese government has reviewed the design, has approved it, and has su su supported. Uh, the L'Agence Nationale mandate was to integrate in, uh, since over a year now. We are working very closely with the Chinese in supporting them in their uh, approach in increasing the you know the the objective mm. uh, the um, finishing mr yeah oh, we've run out of time and i've got one very important question brazil versus gabon who's going to win give us your your view give <laughs> me give me a number one zero two zero <laughs> of course it's going to be Gabon with <laughs> to win with one zero <laughs> <laughs> fantastic uh, mr Ohan. thank you so much for yeah. joining us